Super Mario Sunshine is such a dumb game that I'm surprised I didn't lose 300 IQ points and turn into a freaking ape after playing it. That's how stupid it is. This piece of crap game will make you hate life, it'll make you hate your children, but most importantly it'll make you hate yourself for wasting your money by purchasing this game in the first place. Think of all the amazing stuff you could buy with your money instead of purchasing this moronic game box game. You could buy a speaker, you could buy a couple McDonald's meals, heck, even buying 25 Tootsie Rolls would be a better life investment than going to your local GameStop and buying this mess. Heck, even throwing your money down the sewer drain in Detroit would be a better- One of the many countless reasons why Mario Super Shine Sun is the worst thing that mankind has ever created is because of this game's absolutely abysmal story. Looks like it's time for Mario to go on vacation, but uh oh, looks like there's an evil Mario that's painting goop everywhere on the island that they're going to. Because that's original, so now Mario has to use the super soaker that he got from his 82 year old grandpa to clean up all the goo so that he can get these shine sprites so that the sun can shine brighter on the island again. Do you realize how dumb this story is? Why did the sun go dim in the first place? Surely these collector's items that Mario gets for cleaning up the poop goop aren't actually powerful enough to make the sun shine more brightly, right? And if they were, wouldn't Mario get like third degree burns on his hands by touching them? On top of that, the sun shines on the whole planet, right? So if the sun went dim on Dolphin Island, wouldn't it also be dim on, I don't know, the rest of the whole Mushroom Kingdom? Wouldn't that be like a global catastrophe? Wouldn't that be a freaking thing, Mario? Oh, don't worry, the plot gets even worse. That's right, Nintendo just keeps on blowing our expectations with how bad they can make their games. So it turns out that the bad Mario is actually just Bowser's son, and apparently he can shapeshift into the exact shape of Mario whenever he wants to. Like, what? 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 Mario's Super Shining Sun also has some of the worst gameplay and controls that I've ever experienced in my gaming career. Now keep in mind that I've played all of the Sonic Adventure games for the Sega Dreamcast, so I know what good gameplay and controls should feel like. <laughs> But this? This is actual garbage. Throughout the whole entirety of Mario's Sun Don't Shine, controlling Luigi feels like you're trying to control a piece of Kool-Aid flavored jello. It's that bad, and Evil Mario is just actually made of blue raspberry jello, but Evil Mario is actually just Bowser's son, does that mean Bowser's son is just composed of freaking jello? Oh yeah, I forgot to mention how utterly stupid and tedious the actual gameplay of this game is. Super Stupid Sunshine, like I said before, is all about using your grandpa's super soaker attached to your back to clean up the goop on Treasure Island. That's it. That's the whole game. You just clean up goop. You have to clean up goop at Trump Tower, you have to clean up goop at Disney World. Literally all you do in this game is cleaning up goop and then getting these stupid sprites of shining. It's literally the worst premise for a game ever. Who the heck thought this up and thought it would be a good idea for a game? And whatever happened to the glory days of Mario 64? where you could just explore around random areas and have fun collecting coins. You didn't have to take a role of the janitor in that game, it was fun. But no, I guess that was just too much to ask for this time. Time to grab your freaking mop and scrub station square clean Mario, have fun! And don't even get me started on the soundtrack for this game, okay? The soundtrack is just bad. And the voice acting. Oh my word. The voice acting. Some drunk idiot at Nintendo decided that it was a good idea to make your nerf water gun sentient and have a voice of its own. Th that's right, your water gun backpack freaking talks. And my gosh, I can't even listen to five minutes of a screechy robotic voice without having a seizure in my eardrums. And he never shuts up, he never shuts up. He talks all the freaking time. If you press the R button all the way down, you and guess what? You can't skip cutscenes! You can't skip cutscenes! Why in the world did Nintendo think of anyone would buy a game where you can't even skip the- I give this game a poop emoji out of 100 points. In other words, Super Mario Sunshine is on the same level of quality as the poop emoji jokes from the official emoji movie. You can't get any worse than that. You're so soft, Poop.